die. By the bell. Hey, everybody, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Tales of Zephonia. Last time we had a couple of boss fights, and upon booting up my save, I got jumped by some rando, and Lloyd got a level for my trouble. Wonderful. It's the angel toxicosis again. Let's hurry and let her rest. Are you okay? I'm sorry to trouble everybody again. Don't worry about that, but... Ow! What are you doing, Lloyd? Are you okay, Colette? Colette? What's wrong? Did it hurt? Did you hurt yourself? Uh, no. I'm fine. <laughs> I just blinked out for a moment. Colette, let me see your hand. Huh? Why? Just show me. You're hurt. It must have happened when you fell. Look how much you're bleeding. But it doesn't hurt. What? Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. Colette, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it, Lloyd? I thought it'd be nice for us to talk just by ourselves. Sure. Here, it's hot coffee. Thanks. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's actually iced coffee. What? I had Genus make it cold. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course it's cold. I lied. It's actually hot. I knew it. How long have you been like this? You can't feel anything at all, can you? Th that's not true. You're lying. When you fell earlier, you already couldn't feel anything, could you? Uh, well, but... Uh... You were bleeding like crazy, but you didn't even flinch when I squeezed your hand. I guess the secret's out. You haven't been eating lately, either. I eat? <laughs> Barely. You even started eating things you don't like. And that's not all. Have you been sleeping? <laughs> See, my eyes aren't red or anything. Stop lying to me. You always do that fake giggle when you lie. Th that's not true. Is it that hard for you to trust me? No, it's not like that. I just... I just didn't want anyone to worry. What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know, but... Things first got strange when I released the fire seal. I suddenly didn't want to eat anything anymore. And even when I did, I didn't have any taste. No taste? I can't hold anything down when I force myself. So I haven't been eating. I never get hungry. That's... that's... Then when I released the next seal, I stopped getting sleepy. I close my eyes, but I just can't sleep. I haven't slept at all since then. Then with this seal, I stopped feeling anything. Why? Why didn't you say anything? Well, I figured this is just what it means to become an angel. So I shouldn't let it get to me. This is what it means to become an angel? Not eating anymore? Not sleeping anymore? Not feeling anything anymore? But my eyes have actually gotten better. I can see really far away now. And my hearing too. I can hear even the faintest sounds really well. I can hear them so well that it's kind of painful sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was going on at all. I'm sorry. Please don't tell the others. Why? Well, I mean, we're all on this trip together and I want it to be fun. So I don't want you to worry about it either, okay? You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Lloyd. 
Even though you're crying for me, and I'm happy, so happy I want to cry. But I can't anymore. I'm sorry. Can I honestly say, other than maybe I should talk with some of the others and not much more that I can really see here, uh, do you say anything in particular anymore now that I've opened it up? Nope! Guess we're just moving on then. Might as well just get on Noah's and get around the monsters and... I think I know where I gotta go next, because I've been there before. The vantage point is the only thing I can really think of, and if you could lay off, dude, that would be great. That'd be wonderful. And then you just kind of spawn in the way. <laughs> You're just casting Photon. Could you heal that for me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Take a diss. It's just like when the hard story beats hit you, it's just like, what am I supposed to say? Specifically, afterward. It's just that feeling of... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Seriously, what was I supposed to say about that? And that's right. I can go up this way. I already hit this town, so... I'm unsure if I really need to go back in there? Oh, wonderful. Give them no quarter. Ow. Uh, can we get my double demon fang? Do I need more uses? Uh, what what is this that I needed? Two hundred uses or something like that? I think I gotta spam it some more. I'll get there. I'm not super worried about it. The only thing I'm really worried about is getting over there. So if we could, that would be wonderful. Say, isn't it kind of cold? Uh, really? It's freezing! I'm surprised it doesn't bother you, Colette. The winds from the holy ground of Carlon blow through this area and can cause extreme temperature drops. Ah, well, Colette's probably got her mind on her task of regeneration and is too excited to feel the cold. Thank you, Lloyd. Now we have to cover. <laughs> that's just how things work. You want, you want uses? I'll spam it. I can spam the B button. I'll burn a bunch of TP if I have to. I wasn't even hitting. That's hilarious. Never stood a chance. I also need to shop for materials for Pete's sake. My money is getting low. Wait, that's right. Shop keeps over this way. Also... Hmm. Can I... What else from your various goods do you got?
pretty mittens. Neat. I should restock on these. Oh dear. I just don't know all those in there. I'll do big shopping when I get to another town, I think. Perhaps going back up over this way would help me out. If all spells, I could go towards the ranch. And bust that up. Because I already got the cutscene here. Maybe I should just go back to that other town and rest. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Because I'm not sure what else I can really do over here. purpose to staying at the inn over here? I was wanting to talk to her. Hmm. I haven't talked to all these people yet. Do you want a nice view? Being bored? Also, here's the Wonder Chef that I missed. Risotto. You gonna give me some rice with that? Farewell. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes there's a guy who stays by the graves mumbling. Hmm, that's interesting. Because sometimes talking to the right NPCs can trigger the right things to happen, but I guess not. just leave and go to the other town and see if there's anything I can do either that or I just you know there's a bridge there is there anything keeping me from going across this bridge I'm probably gonna have to get off Noah's at the bridge or right before it or something. Yep! Called it! That was fast. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Ow. Punks! Demon fang. Demon fang. Demon you know what? I'll throw demon fangs at you, because I need to build up my uses. Now that I can just spam it. Oh, I'm almost there. Should also tag this stone while I'm here to activate some long range mode. Thank you. Replacing the stone so close. And if I'm not supposed to be here yet, I'll just go back. Wait a minute. already been here? I've been here already! I did a loop! The hell? That's weird. Don't worry. Leave it Demon to me. Demon 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 I think I have my quota. Demon now I just have to do the triggered the thing, you know? Because I thought it was 200, right? Uh, 
Okay, I done did a loop. Colette, I'm sorry. What for? I didn't even know you were suffering and just acted all excited about you becoming an angel. No, it's okay. If I become an angel, Silverant will be saved. It's okay for you to be happy, but... It's okay! Just the fact that you're worrying about me is enough, okay? I wonder if there isn't some way, you know, a way to save the world without you having to suffer. Man, the title of that skit sure was, uh, accurate. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it to. Now, if I could just weave around you freaking monsters, that would be great. Unless I literally Don't run into a punk. I don't know what triggers the art, but I'm gonna do keep doing it. Cause in case of I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know where to go next. Don't get too comfortable. I'll just have to wait for her to stop casting normally and unstone me, please. Thank you. And then I just get immediately whacked by a doofus. Thanks, buttholes. Another case of I. Oh, you're just a bunch of normal dudes. What is TV in the first place? Oh, that was just warming up. I mean, thanks for all your stuff. <laughs> I mean, what more can I say other than thanks for your stuff? Fine, I'll actually go into this town, I think. Because I can't think of much anywhere else to do you want to rumble? Okay. If you say so. Stay off. Go to the village of Lewin. You. Now you're even over here? What happened? You're badly wounded. Oh, it's you guys. If you want to finish me off, now's your chance. I don't have any strength left to fight. You're hurt badly. Professor, please, heal her. I will, but first I want you to tell me what happened here. It seems she has companions, and this may just be a trap to catch us off guard. Professor! You're as devious as you look. Call me what you like. Take a look at this city. Everything's in ruin. The designs <clears throat> invaded. What? Do you know about the human ranch northeast of here? The people of this city had been hiding some folks who escaped from the ranch. The designs found out about it. And not only was the entire population forced to go to the ranch, but the city was destroyed. So how were you injured? It's nothing. I was just a little clumsy. Ah, help me, please! That's... 
It's Clara. She managed to get all the way here. Stay back, you monster! <laughs> Damn it! Clara, please, calm down. Colette, are you okay? Yes. She's lost a lot of blood. You're right. Professor, please heal her. Professor, please. Fine. But I swear, you're all way too soft-hearted for your own good. Why? Why did you save me? Probably for the same reason you saved that man. Thanks. I know it's a selfish, unreasonable thing to say at this point, but, um... I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I owe the people of this city for food and lodging. Please, help me save these people. If you agree, I'll declare a truce with you and help in any way I can. All right. Lloyd, are you serious? I agree with Lloyd. Colette, not you, too. What about you? I see no problem with it. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Rain. Fine. Do as you wish. I suppose if we look at it another way, it does mean we can keep a close eye on her. <laughs> you better watch out so you don't lose your head while you sleep. Oh, now it's the City of Devastation. That's depressing. Oh yes, I'm truly grateful. I didn't expect to be attacked. That's unfortunate. Can't even go that way. Can't even go this way. This whole place is fucked. The city is just like Isalia. No. It's even worse. The people of the city were killed and any survivors were taken away to the ranch. Yeah, at least we should rescue the survivors. Yeah, and we'll make those designs pay! Pretty much. Goodness gracious. Oh, so much for going up there. We're accessing anything, honestly. Man, they ransacked this place ridiculously. But I think that's probably enough for an episode, I think. So I'm just going to quickly run over to the House of Salvation to heal. So, on today's episode of Tales of Zephonia... I try to figure out what the hell we're doing, and going back to Luna is just like, oh. Oh. Nuts. So we're gonna go see if we can rescue some survivors next time. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>